Yo, what's good? It's your boy JG Tennis back with another video today. So today, uh, I think y'all seen this video like three times, and I'm gonna keep on doing them. Is I'm going to be ranking my years. I'm talking about years that were really, really, really the best. That was saying, and. Some of y'all probably already know my years in review, but 2023 right now is going okay. Tennis season is going well, seven and three. Hope something big happens, like just like last year, how everything was going good. But. We'll see. So, let us start off by saying the first year. Twenty fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Were like the eras, were like the years before, were like where everything was coming up. I was starting to know a lot of things. I was getting used to a lot of things. So those were some very, very, very good starts. But. What I really, really want to get to is my fifth year. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen started off mid, kind of bad, but then you know I gotten better when I went back to tennis. As y'all know, after 2017, I had quit tennis, and I came back to it, and it was going well, and, you know, we all won the state championship. One of the best times ever. And that was, like, my fourth time making it to the final. I haven't missed it yet. We made it to the finals, but we finally won. I finally, we finally won it. Three years. Second place. Second place. Second place. Always number two, losing to number one. And now we did it. Now we did it. Well, guess what? Everything was getting good. I graduated fifth grade. Well, this was like before we won the state championship. Heading to sixth grade. So it was the start of a new era. Start of a new era, yes. Where I'm growing up. I'm now in sixth grade. And the first thing was we're going to Rome, Georgia. Which was very good going to Rome because I played good. Sp first day, I didn't. We didn't play well. We lost bad to a Georgia team, who was like the second best in the there. 
then you know I had cereal the next day right for breakfast my parents and my coach they were like James why are you eating cereal which I understood because cereal is not like you you should eat like a breakfast like for breakfast you should have like pancakes and sausage that kind of stuff but I have cereal and you know what happened? I played so good. Won my both my next two matches. I was playing great. And coach was like, I don't know what you have for breakfast today, but you are on a roll. Like I had cereal for breakfast. And I play like this. Man, so I was feeling a lot confident, and I was wanting to get back here. So then, you know, things were going good, oh, very good on some occasions. They were okay. You had, um, what did what I have? What do I, what did I have? Oh, yeah. So it was okay. Things are going on. 2018 was like an up and down year. Then, you know, um, no. Thanksgiving break. All right. But then, December of 2018 was good. Had my friends over, it was great, and it was good. We're then going into a new year. We're going into 2019. Also, my Japanese sister came. 2018. So I was like, okay. This is what's happening. Hold on. And it was just crazy. Like, crazy. My Japanese sister came. I think I just said that, but I, forget. I just came back. I had to go do some. I just paused it, and I came back. But, um, yeah. And then it was going, oh, shoot. Why is it so zoomed in? Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to reposition myself. So then, it was really time. This is where things were about to get crazy and good. Next thing you know, the new year, 2019, and 2019 was about to be a treat. In 2019, I would say is my third, should be my second best, but I'll tell you in a moment why it's third. 2019 was a year I will never forget in a good way. And I think y'all already know some things. And I had some videos like this called 2019 from a dream to a nightmare. Now, I don't know if I told y'all this, but the nightmare stuff didn't start until the end of the month. I mean, to the not the end of the month, to the end of the year. So I can't. I can't basically say to, to dream to a nightmare, but I say dream to a nightmare because how it carried over. But let me start. Twenty nineteen started off good. Forty two and zero in tennis. Winning tournaments. Doing great. I lost. In the final to every issue 
And it was okay. My team is number two. When we make it to the playoffs again in tennis. But then you know. We start playing good. We come together as a team. And you know what happens? I end sixth grade. Finally free. Finally, summer of 2019. A summer I'll never forget. The first on the list was going to Spain and France. Spain and France was just a great 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 experience I got a tour my cousin came on and it was good funny things happened it was just very very cool the summer of 2019 man but then you know when I came back I got right back into tennis my mom found a tennis channel Instead of watching tennis more often, and I was really doing good. I was, and then I was getting ready for state. We made it to the, and at the end we made it to the championship again. That was my fifth straight time going to the final. And what's different is being defending champs. We're, but we're underdogs. Every time we were number two, we always lost. But this year was different. We've I had to play a player that ended my 42 game winning streak. I lost to him, then I beat him. That was a big win for me. Not just that I beat him, win state championship. It was one of the best feelings ever because he gave my my two losses of the season and then I finally beat him. Even though he still has, like I'm 2-2 two and two against him overall. We haven't played each other in a long time. But, man, we were just, we just had like, an, like I wouldn't say rivalry. But, what I would say was, I would say kind of, was kind of a rivalry because we brought the best out of each other. I was one, like, I was dominant, but he was the one I couldn't beat. And then I finally beat him. Then, you know, I won another tournament at the end of the summer, and it was cool. Then, you know, seventh grade started, and I was expecting it to be a good year. It kind of started off bad, like, weird, but everything ended, and I was just having a good few months. I was happy to come into the school. It was great. But then I threw up on the bus in November. Which was one of the worst days of my life. 
Well, I wouldn't say it was one of the worst days of my life, cause, well, it kind of was, cause it was, I was sick and I could not like I, I was like in the bathroom for like two hours throwing up, and I want to say anything else, but I was after I got out of the bathroom finally, I was finally able to go to sleep. I went to sleep for a few hours and got up and was well rested. And I was trying to go to school the next day, but couldn't because early in the morning I threw up again. So, what happened? After that, I had Thanksgiving break. So I was still having a good year. And we went back to WJ Christian, right? And then I had one of the worst days of my life. Where y'all already know, mocking, embarrassed. Went home, embarrassed, alone. And I was like, what just happened? Y'all, like, I'm not going to tell the full thing right now because I told y'all many times why I'm affected by it, why it changed me a lot to now. But really... I just had such a, such a, such a good time. The time is happening, right? Black Panther's on right now. But let me tell y'all this. It got worse. And 2019 should be number two year. But after like it started in it started at the end of 2019 then carried over into 2020 for the next 5 months that's kind of why it's number 3 but 2019 was still such a good year i want to remember the stuff from january all the way to the end of november well until like november well almost to the end of november but the rest not nah. Now we're in a new year, 2019, 2019-2020. The second best year of all time for me. Even though I had like everything was going good in 2019 for like 11 out of the 12 months, and my 2020 didn't get good until May. But 2020 had the best experiences ever. How I changed as a person. How everything was going good. When seventh grade ended, 
I was so happy to get out of seventh grade, but you know, I got I was, I was kind of happy to work online. You know, COVID happened, cause bullying like the bullying was like getting worse. It was getting worse and worse and worse. I was under so much stress that I was getting sick a lot. And COVID happened. It saved my life. I was at home. Chilling. Not having to worry about much. You know, just good. And summer of 2020, one of the best summers ever. Crazy, insane. And it was crazy when you know I stood out for myself. You know, me and Richard did some things. Met out with some new friends, old friends too. I just had some really great experiences. It was just such a good year. Then, you know, 8th grade was happening. I was kind of scared, even though we're online. But since we were online, we didn't have to worry. I didn't have to worry about a lot of stuff. And also, I had the best year of my life, school year of my life. Nothing came close to this school year. For now. I got A honor. I think y'all already know. I got A honor the first week, student of the month. It was just crazy how well I was doing this school year. I was part of a terrific group of people. It was great. Now I'm here. A grade, man. And then you know I treat it every day like a weekend. And usually the only time I do that is if I don't have school the next day or 
if it's summer break, I mean, not summer, like summer, of course, you know, spring break, all that. But I treat it every day like a weekend, and I stayed up late. Went to bed at like 4 a.m. in the morning. Only four hours of sleep, except for on the weekends where I have a lot of hours of sleep. My parents didn't worry about worry about it because it didn't. Because <laughs> I was. <laughs> oh shoot! Mm. That Corona. I'm just playing. But I was like, um, getting good grades. That, like, they didn't worry about it too much. I mean, they didn't worry about it at all. Cause I got my work done and everything. It was such, such a good thing that this happened. Everything was going good. And then, you know, I had it on. Album about football was doing good. Not just was doing good. They were great. Won national championship. Undefeated. The best team ever. Next thing you know. I was winning. I was smart, very smart, getting phone calls, messages for help. Everything was going good, smooth. Then, you know, we came back to the school in person in like um, April after spring break. And it was kind of mid. It was mid. It was really mid. 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 So what do I have to say? WJ Christian. was better online. I mean, it's better when you, your classes are not at the school. At the school? Nah. Not at the school? Yeah. Online was way better at WJ. Online was better at WJ. That's why I was happy to get out of that school. And Edgar was the best experience. Thank God online happened. Then you know. Twenty twenty one. You know, twenty twenty one started off good. You know, we came back to the school. I was still living treating everything like a weekend. Especially during the summer. Then you know 
things were about to get back to normal. As we were going to go to school. In person. And not just that, it was a new environment now. Ramsey High School. And freshman year was okay. Like the start of it was good, okay. I had gotten quarantined. I kind of wish they should have like started. What I, they could have done is they could have like started like just online. Online for like the first semester And then in person But it is what it is and Then you know 2021 ended with some good stuff okay stuff but who knew what the next year was about to come up? And at number one, the best year of all time, 2022. No doubt the greatest year of all time for me. The reason why was because beginning the I already know my nine and oh start really thirteen and oh after I filled that tournament first. But I'm talking about starting off undefeated in high school tennis. When I was undefeated, it was one of the best things ever. I was living my life, and it wasn't just because I was undefeated. I was like a player that was dominating. I held all my opponents to like two games. Like, say for my first match against Leeds, 8-1. Closest was 2-1. Do you know I played in Jimison uh, and won that match as well, 2-0. Uh. I won 8-2. Closest was 3-2. Well, I would say 1-1 one, one was closest, but 3-2. Then, you know... Next one, 8-0. Next one, 8-1. And it was tough at the end when I was winning 7-0, but I was still able to get it done. Won a gift card next day. Dean, our first home match, 8-2. Closest was, like, I had, we had a long rally, and I changed momentum, got me 7-1, then 7-2. Then I won 8-2. Then you know, next four matches were eight zero, eight zero, eight zero, eight zero. Then you know, I finally lost. to the second best player in our section. Then, you know, I beat the third best player, which made me the third best player now. Now I beat the, the loss to the first best player. So I was third in my section heading into sectionals, and I lost in this, made it all the way to the semifinals, which was still good. And I was just having a great, great time getting my offers and stuff. 
But next up. It's going to be one of the greatest things that will ever happen to me. Summer of 2022. Combination of 2019 summer and summer of 2020, but better. This summer was the best summer of all time. For right now. But this really was the best summer of all time. Look, it was a literal movie. A movie with nothing, well, there was some stuff happening, but nothing bad. But winning two tournaments in June, which was great. Playing good tennis. I haven't seen some of my teammates on some occasions. I haven't seen them for months. I'll respect for some of them. And some family members as well. Then go to someone's birthday. But... I did something with Richard. But what was the timing for it? What was the timing for it? Oh shoot, I almost forgot what I said. Oh yeah. So when July hit, that was when the best stuff happens. I had went to Orlando, Florida to the USTA National Campus. And it was so fun. The reason why it was so fun was because when I played tennis, we were, they put me on the team with the two other two best players there. I was like one of the top three players there. I wouldn't say I was the best player. Like I think that well, I, I would say at least three. I was just having the best experience ever known to man. And we won. We got medals. So it was just such a good experience. I was working out in the gym, having a good time, living life in the night. The song I was listening to during that summer. And that summer was so nostalgic, like literally. Next thing you know, A few weeks later, well, really, I'll say two weeks later. Oh, yeah, a few weeks later. Yeah, a few weeks later. I went to another camp. And this was in College Park, Maryland. And what I would say, that was probably the best experience I've ever had. The best thing that ever happened. We were at this camp, we were working out, I was working at the hotels as well, I was living good, 
when we play matches, right? I play seven matches in five days, and I won all seven matches. And I was like, oh my freaking good gosh. I, I won my first match. Then won my second. Then won my third. Then won my fourth. Won my fifth. Won my sixth. And when I won my sixth match, I was like, I'm doing good. I'm like, what, what's going on? I'm really playing good. Then, you know, my last match, I won. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really about to leave here undefeated. Then, you know, we played a king of the court game, right? And I won. We won. And I was leaving the camp with full of confidence. I was like, oh my goodness, I did it. We did it. That was the best thing that ever happened to me. Because that brought me full of confidence coming back. Now, I did take a month off from tennis. Because I was tired and some other occasions too. Then, you know. Some stuff happened. My birthday was good. Mr. Murray, Mr. President himself came. It was good. Everything was going good. Still nostalgic. But guess what? D. December of 2022 was then an experience that I will never forget. And you know what happened? I passed my Jarvis test. I now can drive by myself anywhere. And my Japanese sister came to my house, which is good. I've had the best experience 2022. 2022, 2020, 2019, best three years of all time. No doubt. Twenty twenty two. I'm glad to have a year that was better than twenty twenty. Because twenty twenty was that year, yeah. But 2022 was the year that stepped everything up. Stepped everything up. Well, thank y'all for watching. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. So I'm finna probably go to sleep. So I'll see y'all in the next video. And peace.